Disclaimer, this is strictly for educational purposes. Although setting this up is foolproof, I take no responsibility if you decide to venture out and mess with other Android settings within your cab. So, play it safe. If you see a setting within Android that you're not familiar with, don't mess with it. What's good everyone, this is your boy Sketch. I know it took me a while to put this theme up. I had some things that I need to take care of and I wanted to make sure that this theme was right before I put it up. And since a lot of people ask me how to get Retro Arch started, I decided to add that in the mix. So, let's get started. You ready? You're gonna need some things. Here we go. Here's what you're gonna need for this tutorial. Of course you need the multi-hub USB drive or whatever you want to call this thing. <laughs> the micro keyboard and mouse, flash drive, doesn't matter what size really. And for Big Blue, you're going to need a micro SD card. Okay, it's time to show you how I put that new um, Big Blue theme on here I'm just showing you the old theme so I can take you or walk you through step by step to get that blue bean yeah <laughs> big blue theme onto your Street Fighter cabinet so let's begin now first things first with the blue, big blue theme the space is very limited You're about to see how small the storage is so with this we need to make the SD card the device storage in order to do that one way of doing it is by going to settings storage and reset Go to the SD card, erase and format as device storage. You'll get this warning, select format, once you start it's going to take a minute, I'll pause the video right here come back to it once it's done now you should be on this screen move data to SD card just select move now it's going to take some moment take a moment some apps will not work but for the most part you don't have to worry about that because retro arch does work from the SD card that's not a problem again pause because this will take a minute and I'll get back to you once it's finished moving all the apps and data okay once it's done it may not look like it's changed it looks the same but once you exit out let's just say if you already have yes file explorer installed you'll see the difference internal storage is now increased to 30 gigabytes so now you can proceed into installing the theme if you have downloaded the theme which is in the link in the description below um, extract the zip files and put it into your SD card before placing it into your arcade one up once you place the files in your SD card what you want to do is go to your SD card of course click on there and if you have like a pictures folder which 
will be in the file itself. You click on that. And you click all the files that you would need inside the uh, <laughs> the pictures folder. Double click and hold. Select all the necessary files. I believe this is all that's needed. Copy. Go home. Go to internal storage. Go to pics. See, it's already saved here, but you know, just select paste. And I've already had this stuff here, so for me, I'll just overwrite it. Success. Exit out. Now, when you're back on the main screen, you want to pull down the menu from up top. Click on the gear icon. Go to display. Then go to wallpaper. ES File Explorer. Big blue horizontal. Drag the placeholders all the way to the very edge. Once you do that, click save. Exit out. And there you go. Now we got the wallpaper up. If you want to add the buttons, you can do that. Um, first thing you want to do is, uh, let's see. I guess what we can do is show you how to get Retro Arch on here. Okay, just bring up the menu. ES File Explorer. Go back to the SD card. Go to your apps. Now when you get Retro Arch, you want to make sure you get the 32-bit version. Install that. It may take a while since it's reading from the, the SD card. But you see it's the 32-bit. Install. Just wait. App installed. Go to done. Don't open just yet. If you have the gift widgets, install that. I don't have to install it because I already have it on here. Exit out. Exit out again. Now what you need to do is add the icons to the desktop or <laughs> your screen to do that. What you need to do is pull up the, the, yeah. <laughs> the apps. You want to pull the X File Explorer in the middle, then bring up Retro Arch. As you can see, it's on top of the spots that it's supposed to be. To get Arcade One up where it's supposed to be, you want to double tap and hold. pull up widgets 
go to activity tap and hold go to arcade one up drop down one up and there it is drag it put it right there now to make your icons invisible what you need to do is this you double tap and hold click edit delete the name click on the picture gallery apps EX File Explorer go to blank image click then click done then uncheck reshape go to done bam it's gone but like with the Simpsons cabinet it's there you rinse and repeat with the others double click and hold edit delete the name tap the folder gallery apps EX File Explorer once again blank image done click reshape done and lastly for retro arch edit delete the name Click on the icon, gallery apps, ES File Explorer, blank image, done. Uncheck reshape, done. So now, Got everything working. File Explorer works fine. Now we get started with RetroArch. Once you got that installed, just tap on it. Select Continue. Wait for everything, wait for the extract of the base APK it'll take a minute now with this you'll need to use this to set up that <laughs> so you can move left or right with this first thing you need to do is Go to input, click on input, maximum players, I always put mines on two, but it's not going to matter because with RetroArch being installed, this is not a standard joystick, um, it only picks up one, so yeah, until there's a fix for it, you can only use one joystick you cannot use the other so what we need to do is set up the controls so for port one go to the d-pad
when you click OK, press up. Go down, repeat. Left. Right. Now for the buttons, I usually make that A, B, X, Y. So press A, or well, press OK. Press OK again. OK again. X. Y. Now, again, select button. Well, you can only use one player, so what I always do is for the start button, of course, the play on one button. So all the other buttons you don't have to worry about. At this point in time, you don't need to use the keyboard and mouse. You already have everything set. <clears throat> Go back. Let's see now. If you want to change the hotkeys, confirm quits. For this, I would say hold start for two seconds and select that. All right, now that you got that set, you want to change the look of it. Oh. And to do that, I believe, is it user interface, menu, XMB for that PlayStation look. Exit out. Quit. Okay. Now that's done. Okay, before you do anything else on Retro Arch, the first thing you want to make sure is that you have your files on your S, not your SD card, but on your um, flash drive. So, what you want to do is go to your flash drive, which is labeled SD card. Then go to your ROMs folder, copy it, then go to your internal storage, and then paste your ROMs folder there. Once you paste it, go back out, go to RetroArch. Now, I'm gonna show you how to get the, the I guess you could say the emulators to show up. One thing I don't like about Retro Arch is the fact that like you have to have specific file names. Otherwise, your for example, your PlayStation ROMs look like this. See all this? Track, 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 whatever. This is one reason why I don't really care much for retro arch as a front end but to get your front end listed not your front end damn uh, to get your emulator on here you want to go to manual scan then the content that you want to scan let's say for example 
you want to do Dreamcast so you go to emulator zero go down to your ROMs folder select Dreamcast scan this directory then system name content directory you want to select Sega Dreamcast once you select that then go to start scan It'll show that it's completed. When you go back, you'll see it. Now, reason why you would see, like for example, a picture for that is because of the file extension. Usually, with certain games, that residue at the end, JP, D, D, C, whatever, shows that. Um, basically, that's the reason why you don't see no. Um, game art but that's like up to you if you want to fix all that but to test it out show you right here click on that click on Street Fighter Alpha select run I already selected the core for this which is the fly cast hit run and there you go Works fine. Let me light this shit up. Street Fighter Alpha 3! And the exit, of course, you hold start, or let me just show you that it works. It does work. Street Fighter Alpha 3! Exit, hold start, hold start again, mm. and there you go, it's giving me a hard time, I may have to change that configuration, but yeah, you get the idea. Okay, let me stop showing off. <laughs> All right, um, one last thing, and that's to put the animated GIFs on file. To do that, you go back to your file explorer. If you haven't done this already, go to apps, install, GIF widgets, which most cases you've already installed. I don't have to install it again, but once you have GIF Widget Pro installed, you need to double tap and bring up. Oh, double tap and hold, I'm sorry. Go to your widgets, bring that up. Go all the way to 
Gift Widgets Pro. Double tap. Bring it right there. Devices file with device file. And once you dragged your pictures from the SD card to your internal storage, you'll see this. So you click on the black one. Click on high. Wait for it to load. And hit create. Then just resize by double tap and hold. Resize. Move the little placeholders. Alright. And just move it over. Oh, wait a minute, I'm gonna make that too big. Yeah, I did. Oh. Okay, okay, I think I got it. I got it. And then what you do, double tap, hit padding. Okay, let me see if I can get this right. And there you go. Yeah, it's a little off on the side, but it don't really matter. It's not gonna be perfect. Just do it again for the other side. Bring up your widgets. Double tap and hold. Put on this side. Device files. Pick retro arch. Select high. And hit create. And just like with the Street Fighter screen, you want to resize. and pad padding and resize it a little bit more And there you go. All completed. Everything works. You saw that retro arch works. Works fine. You see that file explorer works fine. And of course, you can go back out and play Street Fighter. Works like a charm. Well, peeps, there you have it. Another tutorial in the books. My apologies for this lengthy video. Um, but again, a lot of people have requested that I do a retro arch tutorial um, to how to figure out, or I guess how to config it with your RK one up so I figured I'd do that um, but just a reminder the best front end to use for this would be dig I've tried numerous front ends um, launch box that crashed um, Pegasus front end you couldn't even configure it um, let me see what else um, Retro X that worked out fine, but there's a paywall behind it. So if you don't want to pay for it, that's fine. The next best option is definitely dig. 
it's very convenient and very useful um, but with that being said again thank you for watching this video I hope this tutorial has helped you out a great deal if you have any questions hit me up in the comments below and I'll be glad to assist you other than that I just need you to do that one last favor for me you already know what to do let me know what's up